Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pregnancy clothing haul. If you're new to my channel you will not know that I am 24 weeks pregnant currently so I'm getting to that stage where things aren't fitting and I'm also at that stage where I actually do want to dress. So I've been wearing leggings, hoodies, pyjamas mostly. So I wanted to buy myself some clothes that I knew I could wear throughout my pregnancy. I'm obviously going to just continue to get bigger. I am only 24 weeks, so I have 16 weeks left to go, and then a 16 weeks worth of growth. So yeah, I thought I'd pick myself up some stuff. Most of the stuff is actually maternity ranges, like ASOS maternity, just ASOS maternity, and then some stuff as well, I just got in a bigger size. So I got an either a 10, or like a medium so pre-pregnancy I would have been a solid eight but anyway if you want to see what I got if you are pregnant yourself or if you're just interested in seeing what I'm getting then please keep watching quite a lot of the stuff I have not tried on I obviously will be trying it on in this video but I have not tried on at time of filming these clips also this first thing I'm looking at I'm like I don't know why I bought that because I now think it is just ugly. So I will be returning. And it is this, oh my God, this is so not nice. <laughs> it actually looks like a rah-rah skirt, like that I'd have worn to like the wee elk when I was 12. Honestly, what is this? This would be far too short. So I got this in a size up, like I said, I got it in a size 10. It's really stretchy, but it just would be far too short because I have a bump. So I don't know why I got this. This is in a UK size 10. It is ASOS design and this will be getting returned. So the next piece is just a black dress and it is by the brand Little Mistress. I'm pretty sure this is maternity. 99% sure it is. And this I got off ASOS and it is a black kind of like smock style dress. It's got nice ruching at the top. There, you can see that a lot better. And it's got a high-ish wee ruffly neck, kind of. I just thought with like light tights, that would be quite good for funerals and weddings. If you are new to my, new to my channel, you'll obviously not know either that I am a singer. Well, I was before COVID. <laughs> so that is what I do. I do weddings and funerals, etc. And I just thought that would be quite good. It would be comfy. Nothing would be too restricting on the, the bump area. I am obsessed with this next piece. I just love this dress so much. Basically everything I got as well was on sale. Pretty much. This is an AS West design dress. And I actually just got this in my normal size. Which is an 8. But I thought it was the perfect style. So it is this lovely smock dress. It's black with white polka dots. And it's got these nice long sleeves and then it's got a tie at the front. I am so excited to wear this because I just think this will be so comfy. I have tried it on and it doesn't fit like an eight. Like if you weren't pregnant, I don't know how you would wear this, but I'm 90% sure that this is just SOS, like normal range. It's not maternity or anything. It doesn't say on it, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually wearing this. The next piece I have worn and I posted a picture on my Instagram and I bought it at the same time as this other skirt but this is another wee skirt from SOS Design and it's just black with yellow polka dots. I wore it with a yellow jumper. I got this in a size 10 and there's so much room. Like there's so much room if you're getting this and you're not pregnant. I would actually probably size down in it and it is a wee bit longer so it doesn't make me feel like when the bump grows that it's going to ride up and be too short to wear. I got this in a size 10 and again I'm nearly sure that was on sale and if it's not it wasn't too expensive but you could wear this with black obviously but I just wore it with yellow to bring out the wee yellow polka dots and I wore it with like lighter tights as well. So this next item is what I am pretty sure I'll be living in in like the warmer months if it gets warm before I have the baby. I'm due in May, so it could get warm around April, like around Easter, it probably will. But this is a pair of maternity cycling shorts. These are actually River Island. So I just got my normal size because they're maternity and they were a tenner. 
and they are really thick and they don't look as if they're going to be see-through. I thought the back of the front does them. I'm showing you the back. It's, it's funny because like normally things go up further at the back but in pregnancy things go up further at the front because they also have to cover your bump so you can definitely tell that this is actually the front because there is a lot more material. So yeah, these are from River Island. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wearing those a hell of a lot with like oversized t-shirts and even like oversized shirts and stuff just because I just think that's what I'm going to be wearing. Seems as if it's going to be really comfortable. It might not be, but I would say it will be. I've actually already worn and posted a picture in this outfit as well. I think I wore it actually maybe this day last week when I'm filming this. And it is this grey ASOS Design Maternity jumpsuit. So it is like a long sleeved cotton and it just flares out. You'll obviously be able to see this better on the try on clip, but it just flares out at the bottom. It feels like you're wearing pajamas, but it's acceptable to wear it outside. So I will be wearing this to death. I'm actually surprised I haven't worn it since I first wore it last week. But it's got buttons up the front and I actually was wearing a grey Calvin Klein bralette underneath it. Just, I didn't plan on it, it just was the way it was. So I wore the first two buttons undone on this and I think it looked really nice. When it was fully done up it looked a wee bit more, I don't know, <laughs> it just looked, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But I liked it undone. It's ASOS design, I would say. These bits have ripped already, the bit that you tie around the waist, so... Well, one of them has. This one is still intact. But it doesn't bother me that much because I am going to tie it around anyway, so it's going to stay up. But I just didn't think that was very good, so I actually need to cut this off. It's actually kind of a funny story with this next piece. So my sister ordered it, and she ordered it in a size 8. It's just regular, it's not maternity and she put it on and she was like what the hell is this and I was like yeah that does not look good on you at all it's too it's too big it looks nearly as if you're trying to hide a bump so I ordered it in a size 10 and it is this leopard print kind of t-shirt long sleeved t-shirt dress this is ASOS design again their stuff is so reasonable and the material is always very good so I do keep coming back to ASOS design. Like I said, I got it in a size 10 and it just flows out. I wore this with black tights again last week and it's a very easy throw on dress. Even when it does get a wee bit warmer, you could just wear this with your legs out and black high top converse or sandals or something like that. I do actually really like this and I still love leopard print. I know leopard print was absolutely huge like two years ago, but I still love it. I still love a bit of leopard print. I did order another jumpsuit because I love that gray one so much that I was like, I'm gonna order another one. And this is this like soft blue shade and it is from the In The Style and Danny Dyer collection, which is a maternity range. So I, again, just got my normal size, a size eight. This is so soft, the material of this feels incredible which i'm really surprised about because i didn't think in the style was that good material i've never actually even ordered that much off it i think maybe a couple of things and i can't even remember what they were or what they were like but i just didn't think that this was going to be such good material but it is fantastic i wanted to buy more of her range but i just wasn't like overly overly fussed on a lot of the stuff but this is a short sleeved jumpsuit and it is just like a t-shirt basically at the front it's just got a normal scoop neck it has got a wee keyhole back and it has ties at the front which are inbuilt into it and then it just flares out again at the bottom and i have not worn that yet but if it is anything like the gray that i got then i'm going to be living in that or in this as well i think this was actually like £25 which compared to the rest of stuff in this haul is quite expensive but if I get the wear out of it then it's all good. My sister has this next item in like purple and white and I wore it during the summer 
and I remember thinking at the time, God, if you were pregnant, that'd be a really good dress. Was I pregnant at the time that I wore it? Let me check. I wasn't pregnant at the time I wore it. <laughs> but it is from New Look. I got this in a size 10. I probably could have got the 8 just because the 8 was fine. But I suppose, again, it's a mini dress. So I don't want it to be too short. But it is this green and black check print t-shirt style kind of. Did I say check print? It's kind of gingham, isn't it? And it just flows out and I'm 90% sure that it's the exact same dress as the purple and white one that I just spoke about and if it is then it's going to be really comfy. Again, tights, boots, bare legged with sandals, I think this is going to be nice. It is quite a, win like it's quite wintry colours but I still, I think I'll get the word of it. Now, I have a pair of black maternity jeans and I do really like them. They're from New Look and I was talking to my cousin who has had four babies and I was asking her where she got her maternity jeans or anything from and she said Topshop. I ordered a pair. I lost all my brain cells whenever I was ordering them and I ordered them in a 12. Like I ordered maternity jeans in a 12. You meant to just get your normal size. So I haven't returned them yet but they have to be returned. And whenever they came, I just didn't really like them anyway. They didn't have the over the bump thing, which I'm enjoying. They just kind of had a band, which then just leaves your belly quite exposed. And if your top rides up or anything, you're gonna see a bare pregnant belly, which nobody wants to see. So I got these off ASOS and they are New Look Maternity Tory jeans, over the bump mom jeans. So. I didn't know whether to go for skinny jeans or mom jeans but the black pair that I have are skinny jeans and I don't really wear skinny jeans an awful lot. I know it's probably more flattering to wear them so that my legs look skinnier because the rest of me is bigger but I don't really care. I don't really like skinny jeans so I thought I'd pick up these. They have been worn as you'll be able to tell and yeah they have two reps in the knees and I just rolled up the hem and they have the over the bump bit which is great. They are a tiny bit stiff but I think that is just because it was the first time I wore them. I kind of found out with any jeans I wore before anyway that they were all quite stiff until you wore them. So I'm excited to wear these more and they're also just gonna be incredibly handy, I think. A pair of black jeans and a pair of normal blue jeans, and you're set. I have a few more things from ASOS, and then I have a few things from Shein to show you. This top, I got this because I went to wear my jeans, my mom jeans, and a black top, and I wanted to wear like an oversized shirt with it, but the black top that I have didn't actually come down low enough, it was not long enough because obviously I'm growing out the way. So I got this ASOS design, I think it's just a long line maternity top. I got this in a size 6 because I thought that looked quite big. Like even on the model, I don't know, I just thought the 8 looked quite big. So I got that in a size 6 and I just think I'm, that was kind of a necessity because you need stuff like that just to throw on. And then I got a red workout top. This is the ASOS 4505 range and this is a maternity top. So I do plan on going back to the gym whenever the gyms reopen some stage, hopefully this year. We are currently still in a lockdown. So we obviously can't go to the gym, but yeah, I thought whenever I do go back, I would probably need something that would fit me. And hopefully when I go back, it's a bit warmer, so I'm not going to be wearing like oversized sweatshirts, which is what I have been wearing when I was going to the gym when I was pregnant and I was very early on. Now yeah, I am. I'm not. So I picked that up and yeah, haven't tried it on or anything yet, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. Now, this next item, I got this in the hope that I will have a girl's night out while I'm pregnant because a lot has happened in our friend group 
one of my friends has had a baby, my sister got married, it has been like everybody's birthdays and we haven't all had a night out obviously so I just kind of bought this in the hope that I'll be able to get a night out or something at least. So this is honestly this is gonna look so random I just kind of have a vision of what I want to wear this with but it is a black a black like I'm gonna call it a leotard it's kind of a leotard a unitard unitard that's it so it's like a t-shirt oh my god it is so see-through oh god which is really see-through. This is from the brand Fashion Killer. I'm pretty sure this was like really cheap, but it is a maternity black unitard. I thought with a black leather blazer and like black strappy heels, this would look really cool and like red jewelry, red jewelry, gold jewelry, and a red lip. Again, I have no idea if I'm gonna get to wear this, but I have it if a night out does come about because my fear is lockdown being lifted and I'd be like okay let's let's all have a night out and then I'm like hmm, nothing fits and I can't go so I got that it's so random I was in not even two minds but by and I was in as many minds as you can be in I was like do I need this am I ever gonna wear this am I gonna get the chance to wear it but I'm glad I got it I haven't tried drawing yet though so it could be wild looking now moving on to Shein, I got a pair of flares, oh my god these are so see-through, yeah. oh my god like I can properly see my ring light like 100% I can see the camera and I can nearly see myself in the viewfinder, that's how see-through these are, but it's just a pair of cotton flares, I got, it in a, I got them in a size medium, they're just normal range so it, again sized up, they're probably going to be way looking on aren't they? I just thought they'd be handy with t-shirts, cardigans, whatever. Just thought they'd be an alternative to black sports leggings. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea why I got this because they don't work in an office. I should have turned this too, but I can't be bothered to turn things to she in. But this is just a black and white polka dot smock style top. This is maternity. I got it in a size small. Yeah, I'm probably not going to actually wear that, am I? Okay, I might, I might, but it is very like office weary. So if you're pregnant and you're looking for cheap office wear maternity stuff, I would go on to Shein because they had quite a lot of like blouses and things like that. Because you don't want to spend a pile of money because you're not going to be pregnant forever. Oh yes. So I ordered a black midi skirt. Again, something actually just a wee bit dressier, but you could also dress this down. So it's just a black jersey midi skirt. I'm almost sure this, yeah, this is definitely maternity because it is a size small and it has quite a lot of room at the front there. It actually feels like there might be too much room. This feels like something that I'll maybe wear later on in pregnancy. But I even thought with like this t-shirt tucked in or like rolled up or something to be kind of like a crop top, but not actually showing any of your skin, but just really showing off your bump. I thought that would be quite nice and the material of this doesn't feel too bad at all. Shein is so hit or miss, oh my god. Then you'll be glad to know this is the very very last thing and it is like a peachy pink again like smock style top but this is much more casual. So I could wear this with my mom jeans from New Look and it's just long sleeved the colour of this is really really nice and the material feels really good too and again yeah it's just like a smock style it's got a wee oh it's got a wee pearl button oh this is cute I'm happy I got this I was in two minds about buying this too but I really like it I think it's nice and that would actually be really nice with white jeans did I say what size I got it in I got it in a size small so it must be maternity as well but you could even wear this non-maternity because it's just that style of top so everybody that is everything i got if you have made it this far in this video and went through all the clothes that i bought thank you and i am sorry <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you have any more requests for pregnancy videos or just normal videos 
let me know. But hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.